All right, guys, we are ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 59. All right, so we're going to exercise as we say our alphabet today, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch up high if it's a vowel, and we're going to stretch to the side if it's a consonant. Are you ready? Ready? So we say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Very good. All right, so I'm going to say a word and you're going to echo it back to me and you're going to tell me what its final sound is, okay? And then we're going to see what we can do if we take that final set sound off. Remember, we call it final sound deletion because we're deleting that last sound. Are you ready? So if I say the word great, great, what's the final sound in great? That's right. It's the t sound. So if I have great and I take the t off, I'm left with gray. Very good. How about neat? Neat. What's the final sound in neat? That's right, it's the t sound again. So if I have neat and I take off the t, I'm left with knee, very good. How about goat, goat? That's right, it's the t sound again. So if I have goat and I take off the t, I'm left with go, very good. Float, float. That's right, it would be flow. How about bloom bloom this one's different the m sound so if i have bloom i take the m off i'm left with blue very good good job deleting that final sound all right we have so many letter cards now and i've even taken some of them off but they fill up the whole card so we're just going to quickly name our letter cards are you ready so we have digraph t h digraph n g you ready this one's hard Final syllable T L E. Final syllable G L E. Digraph E E. Final syllable D L E. We've done lots of final syllables this week. We have H C A consonant E. Final syllable F L E. D Z U consonant E. E consonant E. A, W, O consonant E, B, G, U, R, I consonant E, K, M, let's look at the bottom, B consonant E, X, Y, J, V, and then final consonant P, L, E. Very good. All right, and now we have our letter sound cards, okay? So we have our sound cards. All right, so let's look at our first one. Are you ready? We have sheep, E, digraph E, -E very good. Umbrella, U, uh, U, candle, D, final syllable, D, L, E. We have ruffle, F, final syllable, F, L, E. Bugle, ghoul, final syllable, G L E. And we have ring, n, digraph N G, very good. Yarn, y, y, inch, i, i, cake, a, a consonant E, very good. Icicle, i, i, feather, v. Digraph TH, very good. Staple, pull. Final consonant, P L E. We have cube, U. U consonant E. Wagon, W. W. Thimble. Digraph TH. Dime, I. I consonant E. Shark, SH. Digraph SH. Vest, V. V, concrete, E, 
E, consonant E, very good. Hose, O, O, consonant E. Rose, Z, S. Fox, X, X. How about right here? Bubble, bull. Final, consonant E, L, E. Then we have hook, U. Uh. Digraph, O, O. Bottle, tool. Final syllable T L E jar j j tooth ooh digraph o o elephant e eh. e equal e duck k digraph c k perfect all right so you're gonna listen to the words that I say and listen for the sound in the final position okay. Remember, the final position is at the end. So I have uncle, pickle, muzzle, hassle. Hmm. What did you hear on those? Uncle, pickle, muzzle, hassle. What final syllables did you hear? That's right, there's several. At the end of uncle, we have cool. And then after pickle, we have the cool sound too. Then we hear muzzle, we have zul. And then hassle, we have soul. So we had several different um, final stable syllables that we heard in that. Look at these words and let's try to follow the rules to code these words, okay? So let's see. Just like all the other final stable syllables that we had, remember we had tool and pool and all those. Look, we have those two consonants, and when it has that L-E, the consonant L-E at the end, we break that apart and we bracket it off because it's its own final stable syllable. It stays the same. So we bracket off the C-L-E, and then we're going to cross off that E because we don't hear it. It just says cool. And then it's a consonant in front of it, so we know that that vowel is going to be short. Let's look at the next one. Same thing. We have that consonant L-E. We're going to put a bracket around it. And then we have the CVC over here. Okay, so then we have the SLE, we bracket it off, and then we have the CVC, very good. And the KLE, bracket it off, and then the PIK in front of it. So when you see a consonant LE, it's gonna be that final st stable syllable. All right, we're gonna try to spell a word. Are you ready? I wanna spell kettle. Kettle. So when I sound it out, I hear k, k the K, then I hear eh, eh. E and then tool. But when we follow the rules, remember that tool is by itself. Okay, so do we think this is the way we spell it? No, we actually have to put something in between because if we have it like this, look, that E has that is open because it has that final syllable. It's like it's not even there. And then it would say E and this would say kettle instead. So for us to actually spell the word kettle, we're going to add an extra T in there to make sure that that E sits down, um, stays short. And there's several words that we do that that has to happen for. All right, so let's go ahead and practice making some words. Are you ready? So we're gonna use some of the vowel patterns that we've used so far. So first, I'm gonna pull a U up here because this is one that's kind of tricky. And I'm gonna find a T and an E because look, this is a vowel consonant E pattern. And I know when I have that U consonant E pattern, it's gonna say U, okay? So if I put a C in front of it, it would say, Ute, cute, okay, because that's one that's a little bit tricky, okay? What if I change it and I put an M in front of it? I'd have m, ute, mute, very good. Let's try another one. What if I put the blend FL in front of it? Then I have full, ute, flute, very good. And then what if I add a J? This might sound silly, j, ute. Jute. Very good. All right, we're going to try to make, use one more pattern. Are you ready? All right, we're going to try to make one more pattern. I'm going to change the vowel to an A. Now I have the word eight. Eight. What if I add an N in front of it? Nate. Very good. What if I add the blend PL in front of it? Pull eight, plate, very good. And then what if I add the R in front of it? 
Great. Awesome job, guys. All right, now that we've made some word, we're going to practice coding some of the words like we've seen. Hi, guys. So today we have lots of words to code, okay? So let's look at our first word. Well, we talked about this last week. I have the word don't. And don't, I can't code. It's a contraction and it doesn't even follow the rules of a contraction. So I'm going to circle it because this tells me I just have to know that as one whole word. Okay, so don't. All right, and then what do you see here? Something that we talked about earlier on today, isn't it? I've got that sul final stable syllable, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bracket, okay, because I know it's by itself. I'm building that wall so I can see what the syllable before, if it's going to be open or closed, okay? And the sul, what do we know about the E? The E is going to be silent. Very good. So now on this side, I have an A in front of an S, so that's going to be short. So ass, has, and then sul, hassle. So don't hassle. Do you guys know what hassle means? Hassle means when you're like bugging somebody over and over again, that's called hassling. So don't hassle. You guys just know this word, but we're gonna go ahead and code it so we understand why it does what it does, okay? So what's my vowel in that word? It's E, very good. It doesn't have anything behind it, so it's open, so that vowel is gonna be long. So I'm gonna add a macron, so M E, me. So don't hassle me, very good. All right, let's look at our next one. Well, what do you see? I see that C-L-E final syllable, right? So the cool final syllable. So I'm going to box it off and add that bracket. And I know that E is gonna be silent. So then on the other side, I only have one vowel. It's in front of an N, so it's gonna make the short sound because that ends a consonant. So I have un on one side and then cool. Uncle, uncle, very good. All right, let's look at our next word. All right, I see that apostrophe S, and I know that this is gonna belong to somebody, but I'm gonna act like it's not even there yet because we added at the end, okay? All right, and then what else do you see? I see that EE -E vowel digraph, so I'm gonna underline it. I know if it's got that EE -E vowel digraph, the E is long, one E is long, and then the other E we don't hear, so it's silent. And then that GR says, Grr, so grr, ear, greer, very good. And then add the S, greers. So uncle greers, and I know when I have apostrophe S, I'm gonna put that line through it, the S, because it's gonna make the Z sound, okay? Uncle greers, Whew, that's a long word. Remember, I can break it apart to make it make sense, okay? So what do you notice? I've got the S at the end, that suffix. So I'm going to box it off first because I'm going to deal with it later, okay? And then what do you see? That's right. I had the K-L-E, the cool final syllable, okay? So I'm going to bracket it off because remember it's like building a wall. And I'm actually going to rewrite this C because that kind of looks like a D now. Okay, so cool over there. Now on my other side, on my other side of my wall, where's my vowel? That's right, it's an E. It's in front of a C and C is a consonant, so it's going to be short, short. So I have that FR, which says fur. So fur, ek, freck, and then cools. Cools, so freckles. Now remember, listen to that S, freckles. That's right, it makes the Z sound instead of the S, so we're going to mark a line on it. So Uncle Greer's freckles. All right, look at this word. It's a long word. All right. Well, I don't have an S suffix. I don't have ing. I don't have ed. So let me try to find my vowels. What's my vowels in that word? I see an I. Very good. Where's my next vowel? On the A. Very good. And I have S and T in between, which are consonants. So remember, I'm going to split those consonants right down the middle. Good job. And now in my first syllable, I have a vowel in front of a consonant. So I know it's going to be short. I have a vowel in front of N, which is a consonant, so I know it's going to be short. So I can say d-is, dis, and t-ent, t. 
distent, distent, distant. And look at this word. It is actually, I don't have a very good space. I want you to see two words so it doesn't look like one. What do you notice about the first word? That's right, it's digraph CK. So I'm gonna underline it because I know it goes together. And I know that in digraph CK, I'm gonna cross off the C because I don't wanna say K, K. It just says K, one sound. All right, and then what else do you notice? The SH, which says like shark, so I'm gonna underline it. And then I have an O in front of a C, so it's gonna be short. So I have sh -ock. shock, very good. And then our next word, what do you notice? I've got A, which is a vowel, and then I've got E, and then I know V is in between. So I have an A consonant E word. So I know that that A is gonna be long, and that E is gonna be silent, so I would say, wave wave so distant shock wave let's read them just one more time ready don't hassle me uncle grares freckles distant shock wave all right wave. so now right, guys, we you did have an awesome our letter cards and they actually stayed the same we're not going to have um actual cards for that consonant z l e consonant s l e cuz they're a little bit different so but you can see the cards that we have and then our sound card stayed the same today too. All right, so we're gonna pull up that activity sheet so that we can do it together. All right, we are gonna get ready to do our activity sheet. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna try to spell, write some of our spellings, okay? So when I say a sound, you're gonna tell me how you think you can spell that sound. So if I say goal, goal, how can I spell the goal sound? That's right, we can put final syllable, G-L-E. Very good. How about the toll sound, toll? That's right, final syllable, T-L-E. Very good. All right, and then what about the M mm sound? Good job, that's M, very good. How about H, good job. And then how about uh, uh, the short U, very good. All right, on number six, how about the eh, eh sound? E, very good. And then the g, 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 very good. And then the p, p. That's right, p. How about n? N, very good. And then the, the ah, ah sound. O, oh, awesome job. All right, on number 11, we are going to try to spell the word kept. Kept, what are you hearing, kept? K, -k, K, very good. E, 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 perfect. K, E, P, 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 and then T, 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 very good, kept. How about bubble? What do I hear in bubble? B, B, very good. B, uh, uh, e. B, B, and then B. Bull. That's right. B L E. Bubble. Remember, if I left out the B right there, then it, we would have to say bubble because it would have to be a long vowel. So we have to make sure that we have that extra consonant in there to make it a short vowel. All right, on number 13, we're going to try to spell the word freckle. So freckle. Fur. That's right. F R, that blend. Fur. Eh. Eh. E, very good. K, K. K, and then you hear the cool. Freckle, very good. How about tickle? I hear T, 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 very good. I, 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 K, K. C, very good. And then cool. That's right. K, L, E. All right, puzzle. So the first, the first syllable is puzz. So, P, uh, uh, z, z, very good, and then zul, z, l, e, good job, all right, so let's look at the next word so that we can code them, well, number 16, I see something automatically, I see that k-l-e, so I'm going to bracket it off, because I know that that is a final stable syllable, and then that e is silent, good job, so I'm going to cross it off. So, and then I have an I that's in front of the N, so it's going to be short. Spur-ing. 
spring cool sprinkle very good all right the next one I have that KLE again so I'm gonna bracket it off cross off the E and then I have the I in front of the C so it's gonna be short so I have p ick pick cool pickle very good how about on number 18 that's right I have that SLE so I'm gonna bracket off the SLE cross off the E then I have consonant vowel consonant so it's gonna be a short A as has soul hassle very good all right and the next one Kaylee again so let's bracket it off cross off the e then I have a u in front of a c so it's going to be short b uck buckle buckle oh when I see the picture of a buckle I'm going to go ahead and match it and then our last one I'm going to bracket off the zle cross off the e I have the u in front of the z so it's going to be short m uz muzzle muzzle so sprinkle pickle hassle buckle muscle muzzle all right so let's look down here are you ready on this first word i see something i see that ing so i'm going to box it off that suffix ing i have an o but we got the suffix back there and we're going to act like it's not even there so that means that o is going to be open so i'm going to make it a long sound so g o going going very good. All right, on number 22, how would I code that word? Well, I see the CK, so I need to underline it because it's a digraph. I'm going to cross off the C because I don't want to say k, k. And then my A is in front of my C, so it's going to be short. So then I have st, ack, stack. Very good. All right, on the next one, well, how would I code that word? Well, I have two S's, so I know that I can cross one of them off because I'm not going to say s, s. And I've got an E that's in front of an S, so the E is going to be short. So then when I sound it out, I'd say dr S, dress. All right. Now this one is a trick. If we look at it, it looks like it's an A consonant E word. But if it was an A consonant E word, when we'd sound it out, it would say ha, have. And is have a word? No, I'm going to circle this word because it's have. And have is a sight word, so I don't code it. So I'm going to circle it since it doesn't follow the rules. It's a rule breaker. All right. On the last one, where are my vowels? I've got a couple of them. I've got an I and then I've got the EE -E, and I've got two consonants between it. So I'm going to break it down the middle. My I is in front of my N, so it's going to be short. So my first syllable is N. My EE -E is together, so I'm going to underline it. And I know when it's going to make a long E sound, but I'm not going to say E at E. It's just one. So I have D, E, D, D, so indeed. So going, stack, dress, have, and indeed. So I'm going to draw a line to the stack. All right. On the back today, I'm just going to challenge you. If you think you can read this and record it, you can read yourself and tell me the answers. Okay, so this is your challenge for the day. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow.